Hello there, fellow humans. Why be spiritual? What are the real benefits? Here is a video based on uh, Ryan T. Howe's findings. He's got a PhD, so let's not criticize him too swiftly. One, spiritual people are gracious. If you are grateful for the things you have in your life, you will feel more connected and liberated from constant cynicism and doubt and fear. Aren't you always amazed when you see people that have undergone great trauma, physical, spiritual, medical, and they go, yeah, no, I just look life every day and I'm grateful and I know there's people worse off than me. Like, don't you, whenever you watch the Paralympics, think, oh my God, how do people do, you know, oh, it's so inspiring, this is so incredible, or Pride of Britain, or any of those things that showcase people that have undergone hardship of some kind. Yeah, of course, it's incredibly patronizing to even look down on people. I merely am saying that I have great fear around trauma, as most people do. Almost afraid sometimes to live gratefully in case the gratitude itself will precipitate loss of the things that I'm grateful for. Family, freedom, peace of mind, those things. But gratitude is an absolutely vital spiritual principle to continually acknowledge and in a practical way, we are instructed, those of us that follow the 12 step method, to create gratitude lists, create. Right. Gratitude list. Spiritual people are compassionate. Experiencing compassion towards others is one of the strongest correlates with living a spiritual life. As I've said to you many times, I think that this is because if you regard other people as essentially being the same as you, not in the numerous quirks and nuances of your nature, but in the fundamental way of, of being worthy of love. I told you to know about that cow I saw once being transported to an abattoir that had its head out the window and it was like savoring life just had its head out the window, saving life. I thought, oh God, it's the same as me. That cow's the same as me. It just wants to be alive in the world and breathe stuff in. And it's about to get a bolt in the head. It's completely innocent to the true realities of life. I regard all people as essentially the same. All of us as expressions of some hmm, force that's difficult to ascertain with the limitations that we currently have. And that's not to say I don't go through life with loads of opposition exploitation and complication. Just the place I return to inwardly is, we are one, we are one. I try to think that when I get irritated. Spiritual people flourish. Spirituality is linked to many important aspects of human functioning. Spiritual people have positive relationships, higher self-esteem and purpose in life. In a sense, spirituality means merely that you de define yourself not by the context and criteria established by the conditions you find yourself in, i.e. you probably live in a context where you're meant to be educated or financially successful or have prowess and virility or success in some particular discipline or economically rewarding milieu, but all these things are constructs. The spiritual way is to suggest that if you feel connected, if you're able to be kind to the people around you, if you're able to deal with the idea that life ends in death for all of us, for everyone we love, the constant TikTok, no disrespect to TikTok, reminders of death are all about us. People dying, people sick, suffering, suffering, suffering. And we somehow manage to tunnel vision that truth out and live as if what were important were the acquisition uh, acquisition excuse me of superficial uh, fleeting items or indeed fleeting approval spiritual people self actualize you can realize yourself more truthfully living a spiritual life if you're living in accordance with external criteria then of course what you're doing is molding yourself into the conditions of your captivity modern society could be regarded as a kind of zoological experience i mean in the sense of zoo like rather than just the study of a wide array of animals i mean to say we're in a kind of captivity and if we're if the success we're achieving is in accordance with conditions that are constructed, then what is that success? It's a fleeting confection. Spiritual people take time to savour life experiences. <sighs> Let's be present. Let's be present for the dawn and the setting of the sun and the subtle things. That we never know when beautiful moments may cross our path. We never know when we might be changing somebody else's life. We need never again miss the opportunity to be beautiful to one another, to stay present, to not descend into a kind of dumb and numb indifference induced by devices 
such as the one you watch this on. Man, I look at mine too much, don't you? Particularly if I've not got real structured stuff going on in my life. The spiritual life, an endorsement of it from me via some scientific research. And you know as well as I do that there will be a resurgence of the spiritual life because the 20th century ideas are failing and floundering. The economic models of both the left and right will not provide spiritual succour anymore to a sort of civilizations teetering on the precipice, if not of, of collapse, then certainly major transformation. If you enjoyed this video, there's a whole spirituality playlist with me saying stuff like this. You can also see me perform live events where I talk like this at length. Come along, ask some questions, get to know me, go to the russellbrand.com website, sign up for my email list, become part of this community. Thank you.